and welcome to our video review session this weekend uh, with <laughs> Finch. Is that your way of saying hello? We have been working this week, uh, continuing our uh, challenges of walking out on the streets. We have intentionally gone down twice to the bike path in Mill Valley and walked there with um it's funny because some days really successful other days not so much um i've switched off with melissa and even in the same time span she had some struggles and i didn't and it's, so it's just funny it's just it's super funny um but all in all we've seen some really good improvement so that's still is a huge focus for us we've been out on trails again every day so we're constantly working on recall walking past other dogs, walking past other humans. Those are all skills I really want um, him to be good at. As far as indoor, what we're gonna be working on this next week is, and I'm gonna demonstrate to you, is your place cue. So that we can really solidify over the next couple of weeks, going to your place on cue, um, hanging out there, and we discussed in your home environment that you may need to use some tethers in the beginning, tie downs, um, set up a, try to set up kind of a regular routine where if you're gonna sit down and have a meal or you wanna sit down and watch a show and just not have to worry about where, you know, where's Finch, what's he doing, you know, have him on his place, give him some things to do, some activities, whether it's, you know, a bone or stuffed Kong or something um, and, have him tethered so he can't just keep getting up and and being disruptive when you want him to learn to kind of chill out so um, I'm gonna do some demos for us so you can see how we are going to increase length of time that this puppy is staying in his spot so let's quickly review uh, a place cue has multiple components it has the, um, go find it. It's like three separate exercises, teaching um, the place. So go to the place where I've designated on your bed. And then that's step one. Step two is down. And step three is the stay part, the longevity part. Um, in theory, all I should have to do is cue go to your place and it means all three of those things. I shouldn't have to cue down and stay separately. So go to your place means um, find the location I've specified, lie down and don't move until I give you a release cue. Uh, but in the beginning, we've got to make it a teeny bit easier. Okay, good job. All right, go to your bed. Yes. I'm gonna wait to see if I get the D-O-W-N down. Uh, there's a way that I'm going to do this to try to get that to happen a little bit quicker. Okay. Up, up, up. Right. Go to your bed. So I'm going to reward by luring the dog into the down without cueing the word down. So that'll alleviate me. It gets the dog in a position I want, but it alleviates the, uh, the necessity to use that cue. So, okay. Punch. Yes. Go to your bed and then he'll just get in the habit of going to the bed and lying down because he knows that's where his reward comes from touch yes go to your bed again just working on this part okay without the longevity yet yes good so that part time i just kind of pointed at the ground i didn't even um I didn't even have to lure with the tree. Okay, come on, wait. Okay, go for it. All right, on your bed. Nope. Okay, so let's see what choice he's gonna make if I withhold the cookie for a minute. Yes. <laughs> that was very dramatic, but it was good, I liked it. Very nice. And the way that we work on that longevity is simply by continuing to reward when the dog is in this position. Touch. Uh-oh, the missed a cookie. Pop, 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 pop. Touch. Okay, go to your bed. 
Go to your bed. Yes. All right. So, okay. So I want you to think about what just happened here. I want to be very clear that I am giving that dog time to figure out how to make the choices that I'm looking for. So the choice I'm looking for is get your bed and lie down. And I don't want to have to keep giving hints and cues. So I'm just also waiting for him to just decide to, yes, good boy, good boy. Think about when you have asked for something, not then continuing to give hints verbally and physically, giving that dog time to process is really, really important in the training process. So it's um, really hard for most of my clients to not be saying stuff all the time. Uh, dog gets to the bed, just sits there and looks at you. No, uh-uh, down, lie down. Um, you know, a million different verbal cues. It just, you don't do that. Just, just don't. Okay, so let's try it again. I'm gonna make this harder by staying in my seat this time. Touch. Okay, go to your bed. Hey, I've changed the rules. I'm not standing up anymore. Go to your bed. Anytime you change criteria, on your bed, babe. Go to your bed. And toss a cookie. Go to your bed. There we go. Nice. I'm just going to toss cookies for getting up there while I am sitting in a position. Touch. Go to your bed. make this easier. I'm going to bring them in a little bit closer to me. Okay, on your bed. Yes. So if I try something one or two times and the dog doesn't figure it out, I, I'm wasting my time by continuing to try to uh, get the dog to respond. I'm much better off going and making it a little bit easier. Again, I I use the word change criteria. That means you change any little part of the equation. I have always practiced this when I'm standing up and I can use some visual, some body language. Once I change that, it's like teaching a whole new exercise. Ready? Go find it. All right, go to your bed. Finch, on your bed. Yes. Okay, so that's also a reason why it makes it a little bit more difficult when you practice things that you haven't done before. Even though you watch the video and you see, oh, here's how he responds. Uh, you practicing is like changing every criteria. It's like changing every, every variable because it's you, you're in a different place, you are practicing a different way. Uh, so it just, it's, it comes back to what we talked about before, which is that transfer of value. It just means the value is still, you still have value, but you've got to practice with the dog so that he sees the same value in working for you that he does in working for me and that the outcome is the same. Good things happen. Uh, so we're going to continue working on this uh, over the next couple days through next week. You'll see a follow-up. You'll be able to see kind of how uh, he's progressing. And I hope you guys have a fantastic fourth and look forward to seeing you guys when you get back. Bye.